Hey guys, this is Emetrist here. I'm doing another really short game review here. I've been playing this game for a couple days now, and it is called Bullet Run. It's made by Sony Entertainment, or Sony Online Entertainment. Um, and the first thing you'll notice about this game is, holy shit, the graphics are good. Um, and I don't know if this is true or not, but uh, it, it, there, there's rumors, or, or maybe it's, it's fact, I haven't really looked into this, that Sony bought this game off of another uh, off of another company and republished it, renamed it, a, a, you know, to a, a free-to-play uh, game. But like I said, I haven't really looked at, I haven't really looked into it, you know. So I, I really don't know. I really couldn't tell you. Um, but like I said, good graphics. The, the graphics in this game are amazing for a free-to-play game. Uh, whoever made this game, if it was actually Sony Entertainment Online, um, or maybe Sony Online Entertainment, I keep messing that up. They did a great job with the graphics. Um, the maps also have really good playability as well. But uh, also looking at, um, and not just the playability, but you're, you're we're looking uh, here at the the matching system that they have going on here. Uh, as far as I can tell, the matching system is. It's pretty good. I haven't gotten matched up with anyone that's like really too high. I think the like in this video I might have turned rank two, um, and I think the highest I've ever played with um, in a game has been rank four. So even if I was rank one or rank two, uh, rank four is the highest I've seen. So either the game is really new and I'm just getting really luckily matched up with new players, or they're uh, I don't know if they go on true skill or something like that, but. Um, their matchmaking system seems to be pretty decent, so, like, that all relates back to playability, obviously. Um, and as far as I can tell, there's no customization, um, really in these early stages. So, uh, the game does have a marketplace, um, and, and, and it, it does use real-life currency as a form of, of paying for some stuff that you can get on the marketplace. Um, but you can also use credits which you earn in-game to buy that stuff. So it's not just they have things that you can buy with real-life money, and then they have a tiny bit you can buy with, you know, credits. Um, everything that you can buy with real-life currency is available through the credit system as well. So just playing the game will earn you, uh, you know, those armor, or those, uh, you know, those appearance uh, things in the marketplace, and also the weapons that you can buy in the marketplace. Um, so balance, as far as balanced gameplay goes, I think that this game will be either decent or, or pretty good um, in terms of balance uh, with the matchmaking system altogether and uh, that you can buy every single thing in the marketplace uh, for credits that you earn in game as well as you know buying them with real life currency so everyone still has an, uh, sort of an equal opportunity uh, for you know to have that balanced gameplay if they want that weapon or not uh, you know compared to people who just buy the shit. Um, so, like I said, balance balance is somewhat neutral in this game. I wouldn't say that it's completely 100% balanced, um, but I wouldn't also say that it's completely unbalanced. Uh, mostly because I have yet to see that, um, because you know I'm, I'm still in such an early stage of the game. Maybe I'll go back and make a uh, later review on this game once I've gotten a little bit more into it. But you know, this, like I said, this is just a short review on. Uh, on gameplay as far as I see it, because um, I've only played like eight games or so, uh, eight matches, um, and I didn't do too good in the first like seven or something. <laughs> so, uh, you know, as far as being able to give you a 100% accurate description on uh, balance, I cannot do that, sorry. But, uh, I, I can tell you the graphics are amazing, um, the customization of your weapons, um, you know, I really can't go too far into that as well, but as far as I can see, you can customize your weapon uh, with, with um, you know, gun, you know, like, um, what the fuck is the word am I looking for? Uh, camouflage. You can uh, you can customize your gun with camouflage, different barrels, um, you know, more uh, you know, capacity in your magazine, stuff like that. Stuff you know, if you're looking at, at customization, you want to go back at least as Call of you know as, as much as Call of Duty does with their customization on their weapons and stuff. If you want to have a you know like a out of a three star customization rating, you have to match Call of Duty's customization with their weapons at least 
to, to have that three star. And I think that they've they've actually earned their three star. Um, and maybe more because they also have the customization of your character um, all the way down to haircuts, uh, hats, masks, uh, you know, pants, shirts, you know, all that stuff. So, you know, on, on the customization scale, this, this game does take the cake. Um, so, if you're looking for a free-to-play MMO FPS with good customization and neutral balanced gameplay, uh, where you can either buy your weapons or... Uh, Spend time playing the game to get you earn you know earn your weapons, which is you know that's what that's the one I would recommend. But if you're looking for a game with all those, this one I, I actually highly recommend. Um, there is different graphics settings, so you can turn your graphics to way low, or you can uh, turn your graphics to way high, which is what I have mine on. I might even have mine on just high and not ultra high or super high. I don't know what the highest is. Um, and I'm not quite sure what my graphic settings are on this when I'm when I captured this. Yeah, I think it might have been. Uh, it's it's either high or super high, but still, even even if it's high or super high, the graphics are still amazing. Um, so you've got awesome graphics. You've got neutral balance gameplay. You you have the ability to earn or buy things in the game. Um, and, and the game's idea is just just purely awesome. Um, it is still, I'm guessing, in early stages of development since it only has two game types. But you know, like I said, with new game, you know, new games and stuff like that, there's always room to improve. There's always room to uh, add, uh, edit, all that stuff. So final final uh, determination, I guess. Get this game, try it out and see what you think about it. Um, the lag in it, very minimal. I, I, I don't really notice too many people lagging. I, I, I think these are, uh, I think they do have uh, areas for you to host your own server, but as far as quick join, you might join a dedicated server. Um, but like I said, I, I couldn't tell you uh, 100%. But get this game, try it out, I highly recommend it. You'll at least have fun for half an hour. Or maybe like five minutes I don't know I don't know who you are but just get it try it out uh, tell me what you think if you like this video please subscribe and like this video uh, you know with the, the button not just say hey I like this video no actually click the button it, it helps me thank you very much this is Emma I'm out